Hey guys, it's John here. Welcome back to Pico Cosmos. Today I have an interesting video for you, an unboxing and review of Hydro Pets, a Brian Trump pet product that is unlike any I've ever reviewed on the channel before. This set was released in 2022 by Surreal Brands. I first saw it pop up as a new product in an ad on my Instagram feed, so naturally I jumped onto Amazon and bought it straight away. This is the first ever Hydro Pets kit, and just going off first impressions, it looks like they've done a decent job. The kit comes in a cardboard box with a really nice pink, purple and blue colour theme. On the front of the box in the top left corner we have the Hydro Pets logo. They've characterised their brine trim to look like fish here, which is a bit of an unusual take. But hey, I guess at this point it's become quite normal in this product niche. In the middle there's a nice large photo of the tank and all of the accessories that this kit comes with. Down here it says that the base has a built-in LED light, which you'll soon see has quite a unique approach in the way that it works. Flipping over to the back and there's a list of the box contents on the left, and on the right is a photo of two children enjoying their Hydro Pets. Alright, let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. I quite like the way they've gone about the packaging here. The box is nice and easy to open, and it gives a good overview of everything that it comes with. First up we have the Hydro Pets Learning Guide Handbook. It basically just gives some basic information about what Artemia are, how to set up the tank, and how to feed them once they hatch. It also has some tips for caring for them too, so overall a well put together manual. Next up we have a sticker sheet. I've not seen one of these included with the Brian Trump pet product before, so that's a cool addition. It looks like they can be placed directly on the tank if you're interested in obscuring the view of your pets. Next up we have the Hydro Eggs and Hydro Grub. It looks like the food packet here is resealable to keep the contents nice and dry. Again, not something I've seen before, but definitely a great idea. There's also a USB power cable in here for the tank's built-in light. I much prefer this approach over using batteries. It creates less waste, and you don't have to worry about the power running out. So that gets another thumbs up from me. The syringe is referred to in the manual as a bubbleizer wand. It comes with a small plastic straw that fits onto the end so that it can be used as an aerator. A clever approach. I'm looking forward to testing this out. I really like the feeding spoon in here too. The scoop is super small, but in my opinion it's the perfect size. Brine shrimp don't need much food, so it should help to prevent overfeeding. Last up we have the tank, which they call the Hydro World. It has a round pancake shape, which is quite different to any of the other brine shrimp tanks I've seen. It looks similar to those cool jellyfish aquariums that I'm sure you've probably seen videos of online, so I wonder if that's where the inspiration here came from. It has a volume of around 450 mils, which puts it on the larger side. The front has three magnifying bubbles built into the plastic, a feature borrowed from the iconic sea monkey tanks which goes all the way back to the 1960s. The opening up top is small and narrow, making it large enough to feed and aerate the tank, but not much else. The lid which sits on top has some small holes for air circulation too. The base is where things get really interesting. The front has the Hydro Pets logo moulded into the plastic, which gives it a nice clean look. You'll remember I mentioned that it has a light built into the base which is powered by a USB cable which fits into this hole here. The front has a small button to change the light's colour setting, though it just looks like recessed plastic, so I'm not really sure how that works. The lights emit from the bottom of the base up into the tank, illuminating the Hydro Pets inside. Definitely a cool idea, so I'm excited to try it out once the tank is established with adults. Let's get this thing set up. I'll start off by adding in 450 ml of distilled water. There's no water level fill line on here, but the instructions say to fill it up around two thirds of the way. Next I need to add in the Hydro Eggs. This packet is made of plastic, which should do a really good job of keeping any moisture out, but surprisingly the salts in here look a bit wet and clumpy. Hopefully this doesn't affect the hatch rate. To be honest, this doesn't seem like much salt for this volume of water either, so it will be interesting to see how the Hydro Pets fare in such a low salinity. I figure this is a good opportunity to check out the bubbleizer wand too. It looks like a decent tool for adding some bubbles into the water, but drawing out the syringe over and over can be a little cumbersome. I'll use the Sea Monkey Aqualege tool to dissolve these salts instead. I'll be keeping this tank on my windowsill for the next few weeks while the Hydro Pets hatch and grow. It's getting a bit chilly here in New Zealand, and unfortunately the opening at the top is too small to accommodate an aquarium heater, so I'll be using an under tank reptile heat mat instead. This isn't quite as efficient because the tank is sitting atop a plastic base, but it's probably better than nothing. The opening is just big enough for a small air stone though, 
So I'll be adding in this air line to help oxygenate the water. Lastly I'll put a purple grow light next to the tank to help with algae growth, as algae is really important for the tank's health. As always there are links to all of these affordable accessories in the video description. Now we just need to wait for the hydro pets to hatch and grow. I'll update you guys soon when I see the first hatchlings. Hey guys, it's been almost two full days and I'm surprised to say that we've had a really big hatch rate. In fact, it's possibly a little too big. I can see around 200 babies in there now, which is probably too many for a tank of this size, even in ideal conditions. It's likely that over the next few days many of these babies will start dying off, which can cause an ammonia spike which deteriorates the water quality and kill even more of the babies in a destructive feedback loop. In a situation like this, it's probably best to do frequent water changes to keep things as clean as possible. But I want to do a true test of the Hydro Pets kit, so I'll leave things as they are for now. The instructions say that I shouldn't feed them until day 2 or 3, so I'll check back in with you soon for the first feeding. Hey guys, we're up to day 3 now, and it looks like even more Hydro Pets have hatched, and they've grown a little since the last update too. It's also time to give them their first feeding of Hydro Grub today, and the instructions say to only give them a partial feeding from the included spoon. The Hydro Grub appears to just be dried spirulina powder. It's not my favourite food choice for brine shrimp, but it can work. The spoon's already quite shallow, so I'm only going to feed them the tiniest amount. I'll continue with these small feedings every 4 or 5 days, or just when the water clears up. I'll check back in with you guys for another update in a week or two to see how things are going. Hey guys, so it's been about one week since I set this tank up, and I have a bit of an unfortunate update. Over the last few days I've slowly been seeing the number of babies in the tank decrease, and we're now at the point where there's none left despite keeping conditions as ideal as possible. I'm not 100% sure what has caused this, but my best guess is that it's probably a combination of a few things. For one, there were too many eggs in this kit. A tank this small can't accommodate that many brine shrimp, and as they started dropping off, the spike in ammonia would have ruined the water quality. I believe the instructions say to feed them too early too. It recommends feeding on the second or third day after hatching, but the fifth or sixth day is more appropriate in my experience. I still want to give this tank a proper test so I can review it for you guys though, so I'm going to restart it today with two Sea Monkey starter kits instead, because they consistently give me good results. This tank is 450 mils in volume, which is a little too large for a single Sea Monkey starter kit, so using two will give me a better salinity. I'll check back in with you again in a month or two for an update on the tank and my final review. Morning guys, it's time for another update on the Sea Monkeys in the Hydro Pets tank. It's been about 5 weeks since my second goal at the setup, and I had much better luck with this batch. You can see there's around 30 or 40 brine shrimp in there now, and they've all managed to reach adulthood this time. I've seen the beginning of algae growth at the bottom of the tank too, which is a great sign. It's been really fun using this tank for the last few weeks, but before I give you my full review, I need to test out the built-in light feature first. I've been really excited to see this in action, so let's finally try it out. It's fairly simple to use, though the light isn't super bright, so to see it properly, it's best to view it in a dark room. The USB power cable simply plugs into the back of the tank's base, and then it's as simple as touching the button on the bottom right hand corner to turn it on. The light will gradually cycle between different colours, staying on each one for a few seconds until it transitions on to the next. You can also control the colour by tapping the button too. One tap will stop the cycle and stay on the current colour. Tapping it a second time will turn the light off, and then tapping it for a third time will switch it back on into its colour transition cycle mode again. What I really love about this is by keeping it on the purple light mode, you essentially have an algae grow light built right into the base of the tank, feeding the algae from below, which is super cool. So now for the good, the bad and the ugly. Hydro Pets as a product overall is a bit of a disappointment. Its core function is to hatch and raise brine shrimp to adulthood, which it doesn't do very well. Firstly because this kit comes with too many eggs. There's no way a tank this small can support an adult population of hundreds of brine shrimp. The second issue is the feeding instructions. In my experience, baby brine shrimp should only be fed a very small amount, and it should be at least 4 days after they hatch. Feeding too much and too early can lead to a rapid deterioration in water quality, which crashes the colony. I've spoken to some other people in the community who have purchased this kit and tried it out. They said that either their eggs never hatched, or their hydro pets died in infancy, just like mine did. 
The Hydro Pets kit isn't all bad though, because it does have one really strong point. The tank is f***ing awesome. Its narrow shape and spherical look is just really aesthetic. I love how the base is slightly textured to look like rock, and the way it cleanly transitions into the round tank is super nice. I like that they've kept it flat on the front and back too, which gives it a nice viewing window for watching the Hydro Pets as they swim around. I'm not fond of the magnifying bubbles though. They're not too obtrusive, but I still find that they disrupt the viewing experience. Brian Trump aren't that small either, so I don't really see why they're necessary. The built-in light feature is fantastic though. I think the implementation here is pretty much bang on perfect. It's powered by USB rather than batteries, so you don't have to worry about your batteries running out or having to replace them. The light transition effect is really nice. It's calming to watch and it matches the zen vibe of this tank really well. I appreciate the option to just choose a single colour too. It lets you personalise the look of the tank to your liking, or just leave it on the purple setting if you're trying to get more algae to grow. My only real concern about the tank's design is the inability to heat it effectively. Using this tank during the warmer months of the year isn't a problem, but during the winter time, even an under tank heat pad probably wouldn't work too well because of the way the tank is elevated on its base. I would like to have seen the opening at the top be a little wider so it can accommodate a small aquarium heater like the USB powered ones that I like to use for some of my other brine shrimp tanks. The bubbleizer wand which is used for aerating the tank isn't really the best tool for the job either. It's nice that they've included it, but even a cheap 3mm pipette is more effective here in my opinion. It's easy enough to just put an airline from an electronic air pump in though, so it's not really a problem. Overall I'm a little torn on this product. I think it's great for those who are looking for an interesting new tank to grow brine shrimp in, but probably not the best kit for those looking to raise Artemia for the first time. I want to hear from you guys though. Is the Hydro Pets kit something you'd consider purchasing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.